Ever since the DL class first invaded about 11 years ago, the General Electric built DX locomotives have been getting less and less common in the North Island. 49 of these locomotives were built, and these days the whole class, apart from DXC 5500 and the long dead DX 2639, are based in the South Island. Though sometimes they do come up to Wellington for overhaul at hut workshops, and if they're lucky they'll spend a month or so hauling trains in the lower North Island before going home. One notable exception was in November 2020, when DXC 5293 led train 220 all the way to Auckland, and returned to the capital that same day on 221. That period of occasionally hauling trains in the lower North Island is exactly what happened with DXC 5391, which was originally built in 1976 as DX 2636. In 2021 she was overhauled and fitted with an EFI equipped prime mover. EFI meaning eccentric French investors, or in this case, electronic fuel injection. She was the third of DX to receive the EFI upgrade, and after the fact she went on several shakedown runs, either up the Wairarapa line to Masterton, or on the North Island main trunk as far as Palmerston North, rubbing shoulders with DC 4605 in the process. Those two even ran a couple of work trains together, with one going up the Tadaranaki line, at least as far as Patea, while the second went at least as far as Dannyvirk on the Palmerston North to Napier line. Mr Muffin Trains was one of many rail fans who managed to catch the DX during her shakedown period. The previous clip showed her leaving Palmerston North as the third engine on train 565, and this clip shows her in DC 4605 passing through fielding on the return leg of their first work train. I'd like to thank Sam for allowing me to use his footage of DXC 5391. If anyone's interested in having a butcher's at his channel, it'll be linked in the description. Saving the least important for last, now we'll revisit the footage I captured of this locomotive during her last few days in the North Island.
DHC 5391 returned to her usual stomping ground either on May 17th or 18th, and it wasn't long before she was put back to work on the Littleton Coal Shuttles and other similar jobs.